after cycling across Europe and along the west coast of Africa to the Gambia. Raymond and I came back to Finland and now found ourselves on our way to the Arctic during the coldest time of the year in February and March. So far we had made about halfway from Helsinki to the Arctic Circle in Rovaniemi. We were exhausted from cycling in this extreme cold and just when we needed it the most, Hotel Pihkuri offered us a stay at their cute little hotel in Vitasari. The first question is always, what do we do with our bikes? <laughs> Could you open the door for me, please? Amazing not to have to carry the stuff up and down the stairs, just roll the bike inside with all the luggage. Yeah. <laughs> We made the most of our stay in a warm hotel room, drying our tents and sleeping bags and also doing some laundry, of course. We went to take a look at the town of Vitasari, but there was a snowstorm, so the visibility wasn't great. It'd be interesting to cycle on some snowmobile track for for a while on a river or on a lake that would be fun <laughs> maybe we can do that when we reach to Oulu these are all the snowmobile tracks what you see here snowmobile and skiing tracks and also people they come around here for ice fishing Time for some bike maintenance. Till today we have cycled with our Tutu Terrain Silk Road bikes uh, around 500 km in almost all the time in uh, below zero degrees. We are doing the first maintenance in the belt drive train system and we are going to wash it. Belts they start to just make a squeaking sound so that means they need to be washed. The warm water and the tooth brush so if it freeze it will be a catastrophe but what to do there is no other way okay okay cool there is a, you can see there is a lot of dust and things like this over there That's it, done. The water and toothbrush, this is ready to go. They put a lot of salt on the road. It's a lot on our drivetrain for sure. Okay, that's it, done. Okay, let's do a test ride because of course now the, the belt is frozen, there is black ice on it. So let's see if I'm able to cycle, I think I am. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem at all. Perfect. Ogla? Without luggage, it's really shaking. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go to sauna. We really need it. And we took our rest day on a pretty good day because today has been a crazy snowstorm out. Tomorrow also we continue. Let's find the sauna. Yeah. I think we need to go downstairs. Uh -huh. Do you have the key? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe we don't need to go outside. Hmm. 
I can see the sun So this is what we do in Finland after sauna. You go out to swim in a lake or river or you go into the snow. So now I'll be going to the snow. It's a little bit... Well, the snow is a little bit hard but it's okay. Now to the shower. A little bit of Finnish small town. You see it looks like this. This is a very lovely town indeed, this Vitasari. A little bit different view than, than Africa, isn't it? North is like this in winter. Time to cycle on towards the Arctic. So I'm giving you guys some behind the scene of a real life. So now we are in this road. Here. I think the lens is clean almost, almost. Sorry about that. So we are flying the drone and recording the, some drone shot for our next vlog. First I need to download the app because, because we have new phones. I need to mention one of the new phones got broken down and it's unbelievable really. Look, with these two inch tires, we've been able to cycle in this kind of road with absolutely no problem. So to be honest, if somebody says you can go off-road with the fat bike, like off-road means there. There's more than half a meter of snow. Impossible. You see? <laughs> no fat bike, no skinny bike, nothing can go here. You have to stick with the road which have been maintained by human. That's it. I've had some issues with this drone before. Banging to the ground by itself in Gambia. Do you want me to fly it? No, really not. <laughs> you don't even know how it works. Okay, so you fly, please. Yeah. If it comes to me, I will use my wrestling techniques with it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Det är stamluxbädde. Oh no! No! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, let's not fly it near the airport at the moment. Did you see that? That was unbelievable! What the heck that did that? <laughs> we are such a drone, eh? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we just don't need to fly this drone anymore, I think. It just doesn't listen. <laughs> Soft landing. Points yeah. to the pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good landing. Just to be clear, I wasn't steering the drone at all. Just suddenly started to <laughs> speed in one direction. We might need a new one indeed. I think maybe even the remote is broken. Maybe it thought I was pushing one of these ones. I don't know. You know, uh, we don't have a drone, but we got bloody fishing stick. That long selfie stick. So we take, we take movie with that now. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. I restarted the drone twice because I felt it wasn't working properly. But luckily it didn't went to the to the forest, otherwise we had to <laughs> climb a tree or something. My drone is ready. We are getting closer to the town called Pichtipudas and today's Today night will be around minus 20. This is a frozen lake. And last night we slept here in this small love war. Now it was around minus 10 and at the night it was around minus 18. Actually we had a pretty cozy and a warm night inside of our sleeping bags and that was really nice. That comes always with me. This is a rabbit track. One of the things you can know how fresh is the track, you make a new track beside it. Compare the two track and you can estimate how old is the track. As you can see here from the edges, sharp edges of this new track, and you can see here it doesn't have that sharp edges. This track is apparently from yesterday. And you can see there's a new small snow. So you can of course guess it is after this is snow. There's many, many small, small, this sort of things you can use for a track. But this track is around, I think, 12 hours, 15 hours old. Let's go. Let's go. First stop is coffee. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
yesterday the government decided that all restaurants are closing for three weeks. So, we get to enjoy our meals in the sun from now on. As long as there is sun. Mm. Yes. It means that there's nowhere for us to go and be inside. And of course that's the point. They don't want people to spend time indoors mm. in public places. Uh, but the tricky part is sometimes we need to get indoors to dry up our sleeping bags or charge some batteries or have a warm meal uh, if it's a situation where we can't put up our own stove. So now we need to arrange our life in a way that we manage also without that option. We just always have to put up the TP and the stove. Warm meal, warm place, always good. And we haven't actually been using our USB chargers on our bikes yet, so that's another thing mm. we need to try. And mm. now this situation is forcing us to try. Mm. <laughs> that's true. We will see how they charge. Of possible means. tonight here is a frozen quinoa salad well maybe we can let it melt a little bit first what do you think it here melt a little okay. everything is frozen do we have those bananas or we'll eat it I don't care. It's just frozen. It's nice ice cream. And ice cream is so good in this kind of temperature. Yeah, need to always take these inner boots out. Otherwise the sweat from the feet gets frozen here and no way in the morning we can squeeze our feet into the boots. So we always dry them up here. Up there gets really hot and they dry pretty fast. Frozen salad melted. Yeah, it's not bad actually. It looks really bad. Mm -hmm. Tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. A little soggy obviously. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever fruit or like a salad or whatever we buy, they just end up getting frozen in half an hour. But it's alright. What is this one doing here? I'm going to put the actually thermometer up there. Let's see what's the temperature here. All right. Let's see what will be the temperature after half an hour. Ah, we are arriving to Pohyos Pohyama. It's the last region before the Arctic region. Amazing. Here's the sign. Bye bye, Keskisomi. Central Finland. And we have done 615 kilometers 
in this winter. Beautiful. Love that. There's a lot over there. Shall we just take a look at it to see how it looks like? No. You don't want? No. Okay, so we go. Okay. Now we were very close to reaching the town of Oulu and from there we only had 160 kilometers left until we reached the Arctic Circle. So join us next time for the rest of our adventure. Subscribe to our channel so you can turn on notifications and YouTube will let you know whenever we post a new video. Join our Patreon for more content and follow us on our other social media. Bye!